Hello everyone and welcome to the video you guys have been waiting for, um, an updated version of the Allegiant City World Tour. So please even like and subscribe if you guys are new and let's get to the first build. But let's start by discussing one of the OG builds here at the near the spawn uh, which is the amazing Evil Corporation building which is owned by Hyperion Network. Um, me, Laid and Subs did this together as a collaborative kind of project. It was one of our first ones. Uh, as you can see, it's not really been interior decorated, but I hope that will happen within the year. Ah, guys, so one of an another one of my OG builds. The one of the, I mean, the first that I really did on my own on here. Um, I really do love the amount of effort and time I put into this build and I'm still doing it as you guys see in the live streams recently I've been doing an interior um, which is really awesome and I've really been enjoying doing that because it just allows me to show you guys a little bit more of my creativity as well because this build has been a really fun project to work on and uh, yeah I'm still working on it obviously like I'm renovating the interior as you guys just saw from the time lapse I mean little like montage little thing of clips um but yeah i'm really proud of how this build is turning out and it's definitely for sure one of those builds that will always stand the test of time for me in this world because of the amount of effort i put into it this is the rose bank building this building used to be a church um for the lore of this building it used to be a church um that's cathedral building that they turned into a bank but they wanted to keep the same architecture which oh my gosh this build is one of my favorites because it has a lot of really nice details i love this little garden section here it's very nice um the interior is still yet to be designed but i'm sure he'll work on it within this coming year this first building is called the panda court building um by uh, my friend Bigelow. Um, the only issue I have with this build at the moment is that it kind of lacks details and it's pretty plain and it kind of looks a bit weird next to this building. So this building may be removed in the near future. If so, then don't take it personally, Bigelow, if you're watching this. But yeah, it just needs to fit a little bit more with the theme and uh, yeah. But now guys, let's show you guys the brief um build of my friend viper that's been working on this uh, i don't know if he's going to finish this um, i'm still awaiting a response from him um but yeah this build may be removed by the next world tour video i do or it may not be depending and finally this build by my friend exotic meats is going to be removed um because he decided that this project was going to be a bit too much for him to do as well as his own city which um is a really nice city um, but yeah, it's um, a shame, but you know, what can you do? So this will probably be removed by the next time lapse, guys. If it isn't, I mean the next world tour, sorry, not the next time lapse. But if I, it is removed by then, um, just know that it was um, here. And uh, yeah, if it's not, then it may be featured again. But hopefully there will be another new build in its place. Yeah, my friend Big Nig Mike did this build called EBT Inc, um, which is basically a standing um, name for his um, team that he's a part of, his build team that he's a part of. Um, but um, this is um, a really nice looking build, uh, and um, yeah, there's no interior in it, so I can't really say much about it. But I like that he's gone for a more abstract kind of curved shape to it in some aspects, and I like the color use um the red and white i know what he was going for here and uh yeah thank you big Ning mike for contributing as much as you have done this is one of my favorite builds that uh he has done um that i've seen in the world um this is a really nice building he put a lot of time and effort into it as you guys can see from the details he's added into the walls um this the garden like the, the, the this nice little cherry blossom kind of tree he did a really nice job on this and um, yeah he's been amazing and his build is very popular in the world when I have visitors so yeah big props to him for that. This is a 1960s era building guys he's only got one wall done on but I don't know if he's going to finish it or not um, but yeah if not then it will be removed by the next world tour probably or it'll be here and I'll just not include it. 
Um, so yeah guys, I want to talk about Delta Bank by my good friend Brunetta, he's a really talented builder guys, he did a really nice job with this build, um, and yeah, he did uh, some really simple design, but he did a, like a really nice detailed version, and he maybe should have included like, maybe another colour or two, but this is a really nice build, and yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely a standout build, and it has a detailed roof, which not a lot of these builds do. This here is built by my friend Al for Whisperer 19. Uh, as you can see, the details aren't quite done. So I'm going to be going in at some point with this build and adding in some details. Because this build really needs some details to make it stand out. Um, but yeah, this is called Alpha East Apartments. And uh, yeah, as you can see, not a lot's going to be done with this interior. Um, so someone else will have to do it or I will. Um, but yeah, he um, took some time to make an effort and do this, so thank you to him. I forget who started this, but I've been contributing a little bit to this build. Uh, I don't know if it's worth us keeping, to be honest. Uh, I started to help, uh, me and a few other people just contribute a little bit to it, and I don't know how this is going to turn out, but this may be in the next time lapse, it may not be, or will it well tour, I don't know, depending on how we do in the next year. This is, um, these builds here are uh, made by my friend Bambuzla as I just explained to you guys. These are little condos that are um, colours of his family. Uh, he's wrote a little dark log story on here um, which I won't read because it's just you know not really necessary but um, yeah I really like um, the tribute that he did. Um, to his family members, even though they're still alive, and you know, it's just a nice little tribute to his family, um, and it's really nice, um, kind of respectful tribute to them within the city. Ah, these builds, guys, I help do most of the bottom, like, kind of street life kind of stuff with, um, with that other one, but this one I did, like, quite a lot on. Um, it's a very nice building, we did a re I really do like these bo this bottom section more so than the top section because the top section ain't very detailed which I may have to change. Um, but this is a very nice building and I really enjoyed collaborating with my friend ZGF on these. Um, I do always love doing a good collaboration build like I've done in quite a few of these builds in the city as you guys can see and know because I've told you guys in videos and live streams. Say hello to the beauty that is this building. I may as well just do this panoramic shot whilst I'm talking about it because honestly, this build is so amazing. Um, I love, I just love it so much. There's still like a few minor things we have to do, like adding this little green grocer shop thing that we are going to do underneath. Finish off this like poolside, like kind of area of the build. Um, but this is honestly one of like my larger projects that I've done in recent time, um, as well as some other projects. But this is one of the larger ones I've done as well. Uh, it's really crazy to think that this build took us so long to do, but honestly, and we still got interiors to do, which is crazy. But um, yeah, it's really awesome. I really do love this build. Um, but um, yeah, look at all this, guys. It's crazy. Just looking back on this build now. And just saying that it's mostly done is pretty crazy. I, I'm so proud of this build and I will always love it. But yeah, um, thank you guys for the support on this build. <laughs> this build as it's fairly new doesn't really need a panoramic shot. But this is my friend Subsonics's apartment um, like short little building. It's not like it's meant to be a terribly large building. It's meant to be kind of like one of those little mini builds. Um, but yeah. Uh, he did a really nice job on this, and um, props to him. This build here, um, as you guys all know, spawned the entirety of it. Was done um, um, and designed by me and Subsonics. We both collaborated on this, um, but we've had a lot of help um, getting this kind of foresty kind of area done by my friend White Monkey. Um, he's been a very big help, as well as a few other little people that have helped um, clone and like copy and paste and like do some trees do some very different variations of trees over here so i want to thank all those people that have helped so far with this um spawn and i hope that soon this spawn will be done so we can do a, like a full-on like showcase of this spawn because this spawn has been one of my favorite collaborative projects to do 
So here we are guys, the rune that I haven't really purposely shown on stream, but this is the brand new redesigned comment room. So big props to my friend Subsonics and I for both doing this. Um, we both realised that the last comment room was a bit cramped and um, it felt a bit unnecessary to have to have another comment room. Um, so if we do have to um, extend the space, we do have room back here behind these particular glass. We could do some more even potentially on these walls to be honest with you guys we could just put some on the walls um but yeah um if we need to we'll put some more in but i've managed to re-put all you guys' comments back on the wall um so if you guys see it, your name on this wall then let me know because it's you know it's 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 crazy because it's nice to see all you guys back on the wall and um yeah i'm very excited to see this wall finished off and then we have this wall filled up so yeah i want to thank you guys for that and i also want to address this so if you guys ever do somehow manage to join um follow this signal here to indicate um whether i'm online offline or afk which is pretty cool this is the build that my friend nod started a few months ago and it's still working on um but it's coming together now and it's um coming along well um we just need to add some more detailing to it um but overall, this building has really, he's really surprised me with this. He has done better than I thought he would, quite honestly. And I am really grateful to him for him working on getting this finished. Because um, he has not really been <laughs> as compliant as finishing this as some other builders. But, um, you know, he is working hard and I do appreciate him working on this. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see this done within probably the next time lapse dash world tour or whatever it is featured in so as you guys can see here the eclipse so apartment building um dash townhouse because technically it's more of a townhouse it's not really an apartment building but i it's more of a townhouse type building but i call it apartments for the sake of it i don't know but um yeah as you guys can see here i put in a lot of details into this build i'm probably gonna add a few more honestly like a few more minor ones like adding in some terracotta um adding in some um, granite and just detailing it up even more than it already is because you know me guys i love to detail and uh yeah we currently only have one of these done i'm currently we're currently just finishing off the detailing on this little side and then i may add some extra detailing in and then obviously you've got the roofs which need detailing too but i have begun to make the structure for the other ones as you guys saw in the live streams previously but i want to take a moment to thank everyone who has contributed to this world whether you guys have watched me whether you guys have, are my friends and you've like come on and helped me out getting stuff done or whether you're someone that's like never seen my city before and have just come here for the sake of it i really do appreciate you guys coming along with me on this journey and yeah here's to another year of elysian city i'm so grateful that you guys love this series as much as i do filming it um because honestly guys this is now going to be the world that i work on for the next good few years um sorry metropolis city but um yeah this world has a um a lot more effort put into it um compared to metropolis not to say the metropolis didn't but this one i feel like has more effort put into it but yeah i'm excited for the future of this city going into 2020 now and going forward but yeah guys i want to say thank you guys so much for supporting this series um when i started back in 2019 back in june and then i restarted it kind of in october i'm so grateful that you guys still love this series and it will continue for years to come on the channel as kind of like one of my staple series so yeah please leave a like and subscribe if you guys haven't already and i will see you guys in the next video or live stream goodbye guys